Hi world, stick here from Maplewood Studio, how you all doing? And welcome to another affordable bass demo. Check this bad boy out, cha-ting! Okay, so today we're looking at the Yamaha RBX 170. This is a four string 34 inch scale bass. It's the most affordable in the sort of affordable bass line that I've been looking at over the last four or five months. And um, I've got to say, even though this is the cheapest, it's in no way compromised in um, spec, build quality and finish. This is a real bargain of a bass. <laughs> Okay, the first thing you'll notice about the RBX 170 is the body shape and size. It's a little bit smaller than your typical kind of jazz and P bass. Uh, for example, if you click here, you'll go to the Squire Classic Vibe bass that I shot a little while ago, uh, where we had a look at the sort of very affordable P bass. And if you click here, we go to the Fender Modern Player Jazz Bass review I did a while ago. Uh, the ba jazz bass is a little bit more expensive, really nice bass guitar, but you'll see there it's a little bit bigger as well. So if you're a bit younger or a bit smaller person, this is going to suit you big time. Um, the body shape and size of two things going for it. First one is it makes it a lot lighter than your normal kind of bass in this price range. So that's a big plus. For someone like me with back problems, that's a big tick. Ka ching Secondly, the body uh, shape makes it really comfy to play sitting down. So if you're young and you're learning bass or you're getting your first proper bass guitar and you should be putting lots of hours in practice, this is going to be a big plus because you can sit in your chair, you can lounge back on your sofa, whittling away, and it's going to sit on your knee nicely and it's going to be comfy to play while sitting down. So another big tick for me. Ka -ching! <laughs> okay, the body material, there's three listed on the Yamaha website, which are Alder, Agathis, and NATO. I do hope that they're pronounced right. Um, and obviously there's no way of telling what this one is made of. However, if you go to the Yamaha website, you'll see there's a selection of colors that the RBX 170 comes in. Uh, a couple of them are transparent, and my guessing would be that the more transparent finishes would have more something like an order, something with a bit more nicer grain wood underneath. So that's just my guess. I might be wrong there. Neck wise, we have a maple neck, a rosewood board, 24 frets, um, and the neck, I've got to say, the fretwork is very, very good for an affordable bass. There's no sharp edges at all. The general feel of the neck is really, really nice in the hand. It's a, a sort of a narrower neck than your normal kind of. Um, Fender or P bass, so that's quite nice. Again, if you've got smaller hands, that's going to play into your favour. But it still feels, it's kind of like a, a modern C shape. It's still something to get hold of, even though it's a little bit skinnier width wise. So, a really nice neck on this guitar. The tuners, you can see we've got um, the Yamaha, uh, Yamaha's own. Uh, sealed tuning pegs up the top. Uh, that's the little Planet Waves clip-on tuner, which I recommend anyone purchase. Clip it on, stay in tune, win. Um, tuning pegs, like I say, do the job, they're good and solid. Uh, I've restrung this bass with my strings of choice with the D D Dario's um, Pro Steels. Just love the tone and feel of those strings, so I'll stick them on any bass that I demo. Um, yes, it's, they're just good, solid tuners. They haven't slipped or anything. Do the job. Electronics wise, we've got your typical kind of jazz style pickup in the bridge position and a typical P bass split single coil pickup in the neck position. Uh, control wise, we have a front volume, a rear volume, and a master tone. Nice and simple. Uh, bridge. Good quality, does the job, nothing fancy, but it's not budging, no rattles, no sharp edges, nothing like that. It's a nice quality bridge. So that's about it. It's a really, really nice guitar for the money. Um, my only gripe would be, <laughs> there has to be one negative to everything, uh, the scratch plate. It's not recessed into the body like you would normally find on a sort of bass with a bit more quality or a bit more value, I, I should say, not necessarily quality. Um, and I guess that is one of the areas you're going to find that saves that little bit of money that puts this into the price point that it's at. Um, so although it looks a little bit messy, not necessarily messy, but it looks a little bit cheap, it's kind of one of those sort of things you've got to accept for the money you're paying for the guitar. And again, most of you might not even be fussed about that. I just look at it and think it'd be nice if it was sunk into the body. But there you go. That's my only negative thing about this bass guitar. So let's get some sounds. What I'll do is I'll run through the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. I'll do each one individually with the full tone, medium tone, tone rolled off, and then we'll give you a blend of both and I'll just play the same old lick like I usually do in the videos and I'll chop between each one or each setting with the uh, same lick running. So hopefully it'll stay in time. Fingers crossed. Let's check them out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yamaha RBX170. This is such a good bass guitar for the money. I can't get over it really. This one is kindly on loan to me from Anderton's Music Store in Guildford. Uh, if you're in Guildford or the surrounding areas, go into their store and check it out. It's amazing. However, they've got an awesome online store as well. So click the URL in the description box below. It's also just where I've dragged my finger, somewhere around my knees. Um, yes, big thanks to them for lending me this. Um, price point. This comes in at £170. Yes, £170. You're getting so much bass for your money. Uh, if you want one of the more fancy finishes, like the translucent sort of thing, like the root beer, I think they call it, and the tobacco burst, you're paying around the £200 mark, but they're still absolute bargain. I can't get over what you're getting for the money. And build quality as well. I must stress that. Everything on the from the painted finish, the neck, all the attention to detail you'd expect from a much more expensive base, it's here on an affordable one. Um, so yeah, if you're in the market for a new bass, if you're a learner, beginner, whatever, or you just want a really good versatile bass guitar and you haven't got much money to spend, check out the Yamaha RBX 170. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. That's all for now. Stick out. Bye. <laughs>